in the state of Texas. They run the option to start and lots of running room outside. Devin Neal play for the Jayhawks. And this is a great job by Bean reading the end man of the line of scrimmage then attacking the outside shoulder. There's nobody on the left side of the con play fake by Bean. He throws and it is incomplete. They take very few sacks. Here's a swing pass and it's dropped. Might have 4 and 0 for the second year in a row. Bean takes off running out about Jason Bean down the seam and over the head with some back tightness did not warm up did not start the option again Devin Neal another good gainer on the option so it's from the spot so it's second and ten Daniel Highshaw part of a line to gain they pulled the right tackle out of the pistol now Devin, Minnesota. They didn't go into the portal a lot after last year. He's one of just five they brought in from the portal. Bean airing it out deep and over the Daniels return late in the year. Played well in the bowl game, lost to Arkansas in the Liberty Bowl. Bean over the middle and dropped. Blocked two by the running back, Daniel Hyshaw. Look at the pressure coming there from Texas. It's picked up beautifully. Bean slides. Did not come out to warm up. Recurring back tightness, a problem that plagued him earlier in the year hope it doesn't affect him moving forward and you know it must be significant because he'd be out there if he could first and ten final minute here comes a blitz off the corner Bean got away and throws for a first down and much more of 18 yards and just a corner blitz here well disguised from Texas Bean does not see it until the last second you see the elusiveness getting around the edge keeping his eyes downfield and locating thank you coach thank you. Jason Bean at the helm, hand. second down and nine. The option again, it's worked well. Bean keeps it this time, shows that speed, and then he got rocked, fumbled, high shot Pickford with a bit of good fortune on the bounce. And they've had a lot of success already with this triple option look with a blocker out in front. How about the move by Bean? Gets rocked by Catalan, but you know, that's just your pitch guy. It's just maybe not the pitch. <laughs> So here come the Jayhawks and High Shaw nowhere to go. Bean. Quick pop for a short game to the time. Bean kept it at the last minute, hoping to pick up a lead block. Football. Here a two to one edge in time of possession for Texas, but Kansas hanging in there. Bean throws a deep ball just a little bit too high. Suffering from back tightness. High Shaw. Tight formation. Bean takes off running. Bean needs a block and doesn't get it. Ball game. So now Kansas on offense. And it's Devin. We're about to see that option to the left again from Kansas. Worked so well in the first half. Beautiful throw by Bean behind Jason Bean. Bean steps in. They're going to keep trying that deep ball. And this time they're on target. Great job here. As you can see, John A. Barron, he knows that Bean is a huge threat to run. So his eyes are inside. He doesn't even see the receiver that's running right past him in a one-on-one -on -one against a flat-footed safety. That's impossible. Their offense should be well-rested. So should the Texas defense. Bean, after some fakes, trying to throw a wheel to Neal. He's had the exact same defensive coaching staff all three years. It looked like the right tackle moved. There was movement at the third down and one. And they do not get it, or do they? They're at their own 39. They had trouble on the handoff. Looked like Bean was unable to play today with back stiffness. 
After he practiced all week, but it had bothered him earlier in the year. High Shaw stacked up at chip drive game of the week from Austin, Texas. Jason Bean throws it away under pressure. Play fake. Bean on the run diving attempt. It's incomplete. They're probably sensing a little blood in the water. And the Sharks start to swirl, bringing pressure and understanding, especially with this edge. Has just seven first downs. Playing without their starting quarterback. Being under duress. I mean, I know, Greg, you need. But outside of that, hasn't been a whole lot for the Jayhawks. Here comes a blitz. And it's High Shaw. A four yard loss. Well, here's an effort at a perimeter run game. Of course, it's well defended there initially by Barry. How much of that do you think is a product of Bean doesn't get the reps in practice? He stumbles forward, gets no. After our game, back to you. That'll be a fun game to watch. Two ranked teams. Jason Bean takes off running and dives to the occasion. Great quarterback coach, brilliant play caller. Neil, the catch, lunge. Viewers already had a lot of talent, but he is really being developed, and he deserves it. Roughly 10% faster than he did a year ago. I mean, that just goes to show you how quickly the wheels are spinning for him. Feels so much better. Made an immediate impact at Texas. He was their leading tackler in the win at Alabama with seven. Bean in Hill. Pete Kukowski tells us that nose for the ball, still learning in terms of technique. He finds a way to Minnesota. Three minutes to go. Bean chased out of the pocket, throws on the run too high. For Much better on the defensive side of the football. Of course, that thing got sideways last year, but I would imagine it's been circled for the Sooners for quite some time. Low throw and an incontent. Shovel pass to Neal. Engineered by Greg McElroy. <laughs> On fourth down and four, Jason Bean incomplete.